hello and welcome my name is Prue or Prue LaRue and today we're doing the Jeffree Star Valentine's Day Deluxe Mystery Box unboxing. So I bought this on release. I bought this moments after it went live which was like 3am for my Australian self. I was and I still am excited to get this. So initially in the videos that were all coming out everyone was getting the same stuff and then I was looking at it again and talking to Annette about it because I was like my box still isn't here. And then I started looking at some more videos and they were different again. I was like oh my god could my box be different? Anyway I got this I was late from work. Oh no I, I was really tired after work and so I just was like I'm just gonna check I'm just gonna check the skin frost and see what shade it is and that will probably tell me what it is. And I got Regina George. So if you've watched any unboxings, you already know what I've got. And it's pretty much exactly Annette's box from Annette's Makeup Corner. Her video went crazy. So I thought I'm just going to do a try on and have a play with the products. I'm still super pumped to have them. I don't know. When you know what you're getting, it's like less fun. So I don't know if it's my fault for watching everyone's videos. Probably. Okay, so I'm going to pull everything out. So I am hilariously excited for the shirt. So I didn't realize, and I have now since watching them, that these shirts come in unisex sizing, so it should run bigger. But I kind of just assumed that it would be like Jeffrey sizing. So I can be like, depending on the sizing, like an XL, 2XL. Anyway, I was like, fuck it, I'm just gonna go super big. <laughs> no, that it just fits. I'm, I was like, I'm never gonna wear this outside anyway. This will be like a sleeping shirt. So I'm gonna go put this on for the video and I'll be right back. All right. It's on. You sort of see how big this is on me. Oh, and then can't relate. And then it's like it's things. This feels like really nice material. And now I'm kind of regretting buying such a big size. Anyway, so I've got the Regina George highlighter. This is the bright pink one. I haven't opened anything. I sort of just checked to see what box I got. And I was kind of hoping I'd get like the the mint condition one but oh well that's cool so there's like a little swatch it's quite stiff so i'm just gonna i do have like a very pinky blush on so let's use this as like a blush topper it's been a while since i've pulled out my jeffree star i do have two of these but i find the packaging is quite like kiddish sometimes they are nice the product is nice and it's definitely not like a kiddish product it costs a lot of money but and the mirrors are really good but I hate storing these in my collection they just don't fit well I feel like I'm not getting much product at all there we go but actually kind of a bit softer than I thought it was as a shade maybe I will keep it I was thinking of giving this to my cousin maybe but I don't know I feel like I can have a bit more of a play with it and see what I think it's better than I thought already. Oh, I got the pop socket. I don't, I've never used one of these before, so I don't know if I want to give it a whirl or not. Uh, let me know if you're like a pop socket person, if I could try, should try it. Oh, the Supreme Post. The Supreme Frost. This is a product I've been really excited to try, and this is in Frozen Peach. Now, you see, I've, I've seen the girls on Beauty News talk about these a lot, and I've just been waiting to dodge it oh wow that feels so nice I was gonna keep loading products on my face that does feel like a really nice powder especially compared to the Regina George and then just so see if swatch a bit easier this one here I'm definitely keeping this this is beautiful all right and then the rest are lip products so I, I will just quickly show you what I got and then I'm going to try them all on. I don't have any of these colors. I do have some Jeffree Star lips. I wonder while I'm, while I'm here maybe I should just swatch them all. I think I will do. So I got the lip liner pencil in Calabasas and then these are all the lip colors that I got. So I'm gonna try them all on for you right now. So dog parts. So it's just gonna be a lot easier if I fa put foundation on my lips. I know this is like the most unattractive look ever. So <laughs> let's get straight into it. So doll parts. Thank you. 
beautiful. I actually really love this colour. That is stunning. Let's go straight into Crocodile Tears. We'll give this one a try. I mean, it's a choice. I feel like I'm more likely to use this one as an eyeliner. But maybe I could find, I could do like a green, green monochromic, chrom, a green monochromatic look. I don't know. It's like, it's a fun shade. So next up, let's do self-control. Alright, so self-control, like a lavender. Oh, it kind of makes me look a bit dead in this lighting. Let me know what you think of this shade on me. I'm not sold. But I'm curious to like see the footage back because sometimes it looks very different. I don't know. It's interesting. Next up we have a gargoyle. I'm not sure if I'm made for go like for grey tones, but I think with the right eye look, does that look better? <laughs> it could work. I don't know. And then Calabasas. So the liner is very, like, it reminds me of Aladdin. But it is a beautiful colour. Nice, creamy, soft matte. Well, this is pretty perfect, really. All right, and that's everything I got in the box. So I'll calculate down below for you. But what I am going to do is do a video totaling all the boxes and everything I got. Because I've had the Beautylish Lucky Bag, the Super Beauty, the ColourPop, and now the Jeffree Star Deluxe Mystery Box. And while I'm here, I've been wanting to go through some of my other Jeffree Star lips, so I might as well swatch them for you if you want to stay on for lip swatching. You're welcome to. So I believe these are the four ones that I have. My collection is not very big in these, but I do have five bullets, and I, I would like to sort of declutter, or at least figure out if I really want these. Because I'm going to go through all my lip products soon. So let's just go in and let me know what you think of these lip colours. So first up, Butt Naked, a very odd shade that I bought. It could go really well with the Calabasas eyeliner. Mm. Mm. I do not know. Flamboyant. This is a like, large in a charge kind of shade. And to be honest, a part of me does love it. Look at it. I feel like butt naked's like on the... <laughs> Why do I have that shade? Alright, and then is this... Romeo. This has been one of my favourite shades lately. I picked this up at Christmas time and it is beautiful. I don't know, I really enjoy this shade on me. I like his lipsticks to last a really long time. Alright, and then this would be Watermelon Soda, which is a shade that one of my friends, oh, this is, one of my friends said it was too much for me. And then Annette said they didn't know what they're talking about, and that's what I knew, that Annette was amazing. But it's just a really fun popping shade. I'm curious to see what the difference between this one and Flamboyant is now. This one doesn't have that same shine to it, but quite pretty too because what I will do is come back look back at the footage and from that decide on the lip colors I want to get rid of because sometimes it just looks like a little bit different on the camera anyway I have five of the bullet lipsticks here they all are I'm just gonna pick them up random I haven't used these I think since I bought them so I've got Birkin suede I feel like this is like an iconic one of your shades
This very much seems like almost my skin colour. I don't know. I think when I was like first getting into makeup, I thought buying nudes meant like buying actual nude colours. I don't know. I feel like this one should go. What do you think? Let's try this one. What have we got? Ice Cream Boulevard. Oh, this is not sticking to my lips anymore. I will admit these formulas, like, I've had these a while now. What a pretty little pink moment. Yeah, I love that shit. Ooh. That's not my natural lip colour anymore. That is something else. Alright, we've got Baby Spice. I mean, who didn't love the Spice Girls? Hmm. I feel like ice cream... Boulevard and Baby Spice actually, well, they're quite different. All right, so this is Ice Cream Boulevard and that is Baby Spice. Intriguing. All right, and then I have Starfish. And the foundation is doing something funny now. I'm a bit confused why I bought so many pinks. So adding Starfish in. I think I would have bought this in like a buy one get one free sale when I first got into makeup and didn't know what I wanted. This is a pretty shame. I feel like I could probably get like want rid of some of these pinks. I don't know. I'll come, I'll come back to it another day. And then we have skin tight. Alright, and then so skin tight. I feel like almost looks like my foundation too. Look, it, that's such a pretty swatch. Like, I feel like if I had Botox, this would look faster. You know what I mean? Alright, I'm just going to chuck doll parts. So these just glide over anything so easily. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed my unboxing and swatching all my current Jeffree Star lipstick products. Let me know what your favourites are. Help me declutter some. I think I should at least get rid of two. At least. Um, thank you for stopping by. I hope I make the unboxing like a bit more, a bit interesting. I feel like it's been so long now and so many people have their boxes. There's some absolutely amazing unboxings out there. Go check them out. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I absolutely appreciate and adore you. Mwah.